Alright, so, uh, welcome back, and in the last video, or the previous videos, we have uh, set up our form, we're, we're able to submit to our database, but we haven't displayed anything. We've also stopped people from uh, refreshing the page and resubmitting um, their message, so it won't uh, appear twice. So we've stopped that, as you can see here, you cannot resubmit. Um, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to go to our index page, uh, so then we're going to open up this. Now we're going to go in between of our horizontal lines here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to uh, connect to our database. So we're going to include our connect.php. So we're going to include our connect. So once we've connected, we need to uh, make a query. And we'll say... We'll call this get data because you don't want to keep uh, using the same query name because it's just bad programming habits. Uh, so MySQL underscore query. Okay, so in here we're gonna type in select star. You guys can't see that. Select all from, and we're gonna select all from our guest book. So we're going to select everything from our guestbook. Now, uh, that's pretty much our query. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to... Sorry, I had to take a sip of water. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a while statement. And inside of our parameters for this, we're going to have dollar sign row equals mysql underscore fetch associative. So that's fetch ASOC, a double -S, s o c and then in our parameters for that we're gonna have our get data variable god I'm making all kinds of mistakes sorry about that so we have our get data variable now in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all of our fields from our database so we have uh, four fields or five fields rather uh, but you don't necessarily get, need to get the ID but we're gonna anyway so we're going to have a variable for each one of these, so we'll call this id equals dollar sign row, and then in your brackets and in here, you just put in id, or whatever your, uh, your field name is, and now we have five of these, so and then we have our name, our message, our date and our time. Now, what we're going to do is, now that we've gotten all of our data, we're going to uh, we're going to echo out all of this in the form of a table. And we'll say well, we don't need a width because this could be kind of long. Um, and we're going to end our table. So, uh, now that we've, we've gotten everything, I'm just going to scroll up here. So we have all of our, uh, our variables. So now what we're going to do is we're simply going to create a row. And, sorry about that. And then in each, each column, we're going to display uh, certain things. Um, we only need one uh, one column, so and we're just going to have uh, it twice though. So we'll, we'll have two. So in here we're going to have our message, and in here we're going to have our info about the user. So in, if we go to our guestbook, refresh, you see that we have uh, three. I, we have it echoed three times. That's because we have three uh, messages in our database. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to make this bold. Right here. Let's make it bold and refresh. So, we have this bold now. So, all we have to do is we have to replace these with our variables. So, if we echo that. And see how right here it doesn't, if we go in our database, it's multiple lines. 
Uh, it doesn't have the multiple lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to format that so it has that. Ugh. But first, we will have um, a simple uh, sentence, I guess. Posted by, and you put name, on, and then our date, and then at our time. So it's pretty much like a sentence. So posted by name, on our date, and then at time. So we refresh, resend. So our first one is posted by Nick, and then we have our message on December 27, 2009, and then that. So you can tell how in a guest book you would want it to be uh, ordered uh, by date and, and then by time, so it would be reverse. So uh, we need to order these in the opposite order, which we will fix in a second. But first, we're going to format our message variable so it is uh it'll show our uh multiple lines now we're going to use the nl nl to br uh that's new line to break uh so it's nl to br new line to break and in the parameters for this we just put our message now, if we refresh, you see that we have our lines uh, put in now. And after this, I'm just going to echo out a break. Make it a little bit neater. So we have that. So we have everything echoed out properly, and we have all of our info in between these two uh, horizontal lines. Now, uh, we all we have to do now is, hopefully I'll be able to do this before this video is over, um, what we need to do is we need to order our... Uh, our, our info from our, 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 we need to order our query that we get all of our info from the database. So in order to do this, all we have to do is we have to come up into our query and put a space and type in order by, oops, order by, two words, and then our second one we're going to put as ID. Or you could put date and then time. Actually, well, that's what we'll do. We'll put date and then and and then our time so it'll order by the date and time or you could just put ID it'll have the same effect um, just ID takes up a little bit less so order by ID now after this you can put one of two things you can put ASC or DESC so it's ASC or you can put DESC so you can order it ID ascending or descending now, in this case, we want to put it as descending, so now uh, this one should go to the top, and this should stay there, and this should go to the bottom. Okay, so it's ordered properly. It's ordered by the ID, which is obviously uh, goes by which was inserted first, and so on. And my time is up, and the video is over. Uh, so that's how to make a P uh, guest book with PHP and MySQL database. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or, uh, or if you have a, a, a video request, just let me know. You can either email me at basic.nick at gmail.com or you could send me a message on YouTube. Either way, I'll likely get back to you soon. And, outs.